What up, Melvin7 here. EA have released the FIFA 17 new legend rating, so let's kick this off with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Obviously his most memorable moment in a Manchester United shirt was scoring the treble winning goal in 1999. And uh, yeah, I'm happy he's a legend in the game. He's not gonna be that desirable because the three star skill moves, uh, the 83 pace, 81 dribbling it's decent but it's not great 86 shooting you know there are a lot of strikers in this game but i'm still happy he's got a legend card anyway next we move on to jamie carragher one of liverpool's best legends 64 pace 88 defending 87 physical now the problem with making 86 the lowest legend rating is you've got other legends like Lalas who probably aren't anywhere near what Jamie Carragher was in his career. So making them the same rating probably isn't right. I think 86 would have been a, a just rating for Carragher, but because other legends are 86, it, it's put into doubt. So yeah, that, that's the problem with all this. Uh, 86 being the minimum, you can't really put anyone lower. So you can't really get any differences. But anyway, I'm babbling too long. Anyway, next we go on to Luis Hernandez. Don't know too much about this guy, but he looks like he's going to be highly desirable. 92 pace, 4 star skill moves, 87 dribbling and 87 shooting. Looks like a very, very good striker in the game. Then we've got Petit. He'll be a monster to partner Patrick Vieira. He's got insane stats. He's over six foot, three star skill moves, three star weak foot. Every stat is over 77 and he's also got 89 physical. So this guy's going to be a beast in the midfield. Then we move on to another very good midfielder, Sebastian Veron. Again, stats across the board, mostly in the 80s, uh, 71 pace and 75 defending being the only two that aren't. Six foot again with 82 physical, four star weak foot, three star skill moves. He's going to be very, very, uh, well, yeah, he's going to be used a lot is what I was going for in FIFA 17. Then we move on to one of my favorite legends, Rio Ferdinand. Very happy he's got a legend card, 81 pace, 90 defending, 86 physical. He's six foot four with three star skill moves for a defender he's going to be very highly used one of the better legends to use at the back because of that pace because of his height everything about this card just looks very very good and i'm happy he's got the kind of stats that he does then we move on to Overmars, 94 pace being his key start with 88 dribbling 80 shooting as well five star weak foot so we've got another option other than paulo futri on the wing for legends that has five star weak foot then we move on to paul schools my favorite manchester united legend um what do i think about the card you know what I'll, I'll save it i suppose it, it looks okay but considering all the praise he's got from legends like xavi saying this is the player he wanted to play with the most and uh it, it's the one that he thinks is one of the best players ever to have graced planned earth probably not a card that justifies that too much 85 shooting 89 passing um, and the rest of the stats look okay, so yeah, I I'm gonna look forward to using him Hopefully he's better than what his stats suggest because uh, yeah, it doesn't look like a great card Which is very disappointing. Anyway, we move on to Del Piero uh, This card looks very very good 89 shooting 92 dribbling 5 star weak foot 85 pace and 85 passing Very very good card there and then the final legend the best of the lot Carlos Puyol Obviously Barcelona, one of their, if not their best ever centre back, 91 defending, 91 physical and 68 pace. Even though he's only got 68 pace, those defending and physical stats are going to make this guy a monster. I'm pretty sure his jumping will be pretty good as well, so 5 foot uh, 10 isn't going to make too much of a difference. So there are the ratings, let me know what you think in the comments, hopefully you have enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video and yeah, peace.